Mike, can you please tell us why Douglas is so passionate about the reclassification of sildenafil? Thanks. I guess it comes down to uh, three key uh, things. Firstly, the patient. You know, erectile dysfunction is a, um, a very uh, difficult and debilitating problem for men and their partners. And I guess in particular men find it very difficult to, uh, to face up to the problem or to try and seek advice uh, or some treatment. So the reclassification to pharmacy uh, would allow better access for them and allow them to have discussions with, uh, with their pharmacist. Secondly, I think it's about the product. I think after 14 years this product's been uh, proven to be safe and effective for erectile dysfunction. So I think um, access through the pharmacist is, is appropriate. And I guess thirdly, um, it's about pharmacy. Uh, and it's about moving from just a dispensing role to a consultation role. And we're really uh, quite passionate about that at Douglas and, and making pharmacy the health professional you see most often and probably first. Can you tell me a little bit about what the consultation will involve? What we've done is we've worked with a team of experts to work out what pharmacy might particularly need to A, feel comfortable and to make the, uh, the screening of the patient uh, more effective. So a patient will walk in and ask to talk to the pharmacist. Uh, they will go to a private area within the pharmacy and we have a cardiovascular risk screening tool which the pharmacist can work through with the patient to assess whether or not they have any underlying conditions. If the pharmacist is not comfortable with some of the findings then they can refer directly to the doctor. If they are comfortable then they will be able to dispense certain of them. Okay.